I have been with a group of search volunteers that have been looking in this creek bed for several hours right now. You can see this line of folks right here. If I could describe them with two words, it would be dedicated and methodical. Andre McDonald remains behind bars at this moment. He has not started the bond process. And the judge told prosecutors earlier today if they wanted to keep the bond so high, they should have charged him with something else. Volunteers have just started to come back right now, but the one person who hasn't returned from the search is Sheriff Salazar. He's still out there with some of those volunteers. When he comes back, that's when we're going to get a game plan as to what's going to happen tonight and tomorrow. Delane, I just checked with the Bear County Sheriff's Office, and unfortunately there's no update from them today. And there's also no organized search parties coming from the Sheriff's Office. So there's a lot of folks out there that are really concerned about Andreen, and they want to help, which means some folks are coming out to the woods just like this to search on their own. The Bear County Sheriff's Office is trying to put a lot of pieces together in this puzzle, and that means figuring out all the places that Andreen and Andre McDonald frequented and also getting tips from people who knew them personally. What can you tell us, Joe? Well, deputies are looking for a lot of suspects in this case. There's potentially many people who fled the scene and family members, they're just confused. They want to know why this young father was targeted. Around 400,000 Americans die every year from cardiac arrest. Doctors at Methodist Hospital say that just with a little bit of training, anyone can know how to save a life. Firefighters are running into a lot of problems this morning in regards to the wind and this house fire. Take a look right now. They still have a couple of hoses out because they keep having to attack the fire. All these hot spots keep popping up just because of the winds that keep blowing by. So they're going to be babysitting this for a little while. The chief believes this was a justifiable shooting since the officer tried to use non-lethal force before the man pulled a gun.